Welcome to the Triple Play Talk Show. We are back, and my name is Nate Olson. And I'm James Grove. Today we're going to talk about Chris Heston and the no-hitter he threw on June the 9th against the New York Mets. This guy uh, has just started his big league career. Uh, played in a couple games last year, but this was his 12th start, I believe, this year. Uh, and for a rookie to do that, what he did, uh, is pretty impressive. Uh, yeah. I mean... He had 11 strikeouts, too, so, I mean, that's a pretty dominant performance. Um, I wouldn't say that the Mets are, like, a powerhouse offensive team, mm -hmm. but they've got some good guys. I mean, they've got they've got Duda, Kadair, um, Tejada has been really good yeah. for them, and they've got Granderson. I know he's not the same guy that he was when he was on the Mets of old, mm -hmm. but he's still, you know, he's still a big league hitter, and, and I mean, he just completely shut them down. Yeah, I mean, and he was so close to a perfect game, too. Mm -hmm. uh, he had no walks, like he said. He had 11 strikeouts, but he also hit three batters. Uh, I mean, that's kind of crazy to think about. If his control would have been just a tad bit better, and he wouldn't hit those yeah. three batters, uh, you know, could have had a perfect game. But also, you don't know where that pitch is going to go, mm -hmm. and that could have been a home run into the right field, uh, right field seats for all we know. But uh, I mean, especially but, one of them was Duda, and yeah. you know, Duda's got power, so exactly. that could have been so, gone. But, I mean, maybe he's playing it safe. I mean, he's still got the no, I mean, he's still got the no hitter. That's yeah. an impressive feat. Uh, perfect game would have been a little bit better, but still, I mean, not a lot of guys have pitched no hitters in their career, and uh, the list is, you know, fairly short. Yeah. Compared to the people that have played the game, the number of people that have played the game, so it was very impressive, and it was the first one of the year, mm -hmm. which is always nice. You know, he, he kind of gets he kind of gets most of the credit because he's the first one to kind of break right. that barrier. I know, and the last couple of years. It seems like there's just been a storm of perfect games and no hitters, yeah. but this year, I mean, June there have been a lot of a lot of close calls. A lot, you know, Shelby Miller took one into the mm -hmm. the ninth inning and everything, but Chris Essen's the first one to complete it. So. Yeah, I mean, like the last few years, I mean, it usually takes about I don't know three weeks in, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's usually late April or early May whenever there's the first one. But you know, we were just sitting around watching our TVs, waiting, like, okay, when's it gonna happen? It's bound to happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's one of those fun things you get to watch on TV, and uh, it, it kind of makes you feel like a kid Everyone's again. Everyone's tuning in. Yeah, it yeah. Ma makes you feel like a kid again, uh, reminds you on why you love the game. So. Definitely. But that is it for today. Uh, that is it on Chris Heston. Uh, if you have any thoughts on this video, go ahead and comment below, or go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. You can find us on Twitter at the Triple Play 3. You can find us on Facebook at the Triple Play. And uh, let us know what you think, and if you have anything else you want us to do a video about, just let us know, and we'll be sure and do it for you. Once again, I'm Nate Olson. And I'm James Grove. Thanks for watching, guys.